여러분 안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 어, 요한복음은 작은 요한복음이라는 책 안에 within this one book, the Gospel of John. 어, 여러 사람의 모양을 그렸습니다. It illustrates the images of many different people. 갈릴리 가나 혼인 잔치 집에 포도주가 모자랄 때그 가정의 일들. For example, what happened at the wedding at the Cana of Galilee when they ran out of wine? 예루살렘 성에 소와 양과 비둘기 파는 사람들. And also the people who sold sheep, oxen, and dove at the 그 temple. 니고데모처럼 자기가 신앙을 잘한다고 생각하는 사람들. Or also people like Nicodemus who think that they are good at spiritual life. 많은 사람들의 이야기가 있습니다. Oh, there are stories of many different people here. 요한복음을 기록한 사람은 요한이지만. And the person who wrote the book of John is 그러나 이 요한 복음을 정말 기록하신 분 하나님이 요한의 그 마음을 주신 거죠. However, the one who truly recorded John was God. It was through God giving him the heart. 어, 요한 복음은 이 세상에 각각 사람들의 그림자를 예수님 만나게 했습니다. And so the Gospel of John shows how many different kinds of people come and meet with Jesus. 예수님 만나러 각 여러 종류의 사람이 예수님 만납니다. Many different kinds of people come and meet Jesus. 38년 된 병자. There is the man with the infirmity for 38 years. 여자, there is the Samaritan woman. 가만, 그 가늠한 여자. There was the woman who was taken in the act of adultery. 니고데모, and Nicodemus. 그 여러 종류의 사람들이 만나는데. And many different kinds of people come and meet Jesus. 요한복음 8장에는 가늠한 여, 여자, 죄를 지은 여자가 예수님 만나는 이야기가 나오는데. And then in John chapter 8 it talks about the woman who was taken in the act of adultery meeting Jesus. 가늠한 여자 그 앞에 나오는 7장 이야기는 어떤 이야기들이냐면 But before that story in John chapter 7 there is another story. 예수님 모르지도 않고 알긴 알지만 there are people who did not not know Jesus. They did know Jesus. 예수님 앞에 와서 그들의 죄를 사함 받거나 그들이 은혜를 입는 게 아니고. But instead of coming to Jesus and receiving the forgiveness of sins and receiving grace, 적당히 예수님 아는 그런 모양의 그림을 그렸습니다. And we, it illustrates of people who just comes to half-heartedly know Jesus. 그런데 제일 처음에 나온 예수님의 그친 동생들인데. And first of those are the younger siblings of Jesus. 이들은 예수님 같이 자랐습니다. They, they grew up with Jesus. 아마 예수님 동생들이죠. They're probably the younger siblings of Jesus. 뭐 형, 형 하고 말이죠. They probably called them brother, brother. 아, 형 사탕 사줘 하고 그랬었는지 모릅니다. Maybe they said to him, brother, buy me some candy or something like that. 이제 예수님이 이제 30살 되죠. 그 나이들 그들도 뭐 스물 몇살 그렇게 됐겠죠. And when Jesus, he was 30 years old, you know, they must have been maybe 20 something, something like that. 근데 여기 그 동생들은 뭐 하냐면, but what the younger siblings say is, 3절에 그 형제들이 예수께 이르되 당신이 행하는 일을 제자들도 보게 여기를 떠나 유대로 가소서. In chapter 7 verse 3, his brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. 스스로 나타를 구하면서 무채 일한 사람이 없나니 이 일을 대가리거든 하거든. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. 그런데 이 사람들의 생각은 예수님 달랐습니다. But their thoughts were different from the thoughts of Jesus. 성경 뭐라고 말하냐면 The Bible also tells us. 이는 그 형제들라도 예수를 믿지 아니함이더라. Verse five. For neither did his brethren believe in him. 우리가 예수님 잘 알고 가까운 사람들이 있습니다. No, we know people who knows Jesus and they are close to Jesus. 다니고, and they're always going to church. 예수님 앞에 기도하고 and they pray to Jesus. 성경을 읽고 and they read the Bible. 그러나 어느 그 사람들이 정말 예수님 자신들의 구주로 필요하지 않는 사람. But even so, they are people who truly do not need Jesus as their savior. 이 사람들은 예수님을 안 믿어 당장 무슨 어떤 어려움을 당하거나 고난 당하나 해를 입는 게 별로 없기 때문에 and because even though they don't believe in Jesus right now, they're not going to go through some suffering or some pain immediately. And not believing Jesus will not cause them big problems in life. 이런 이야기를 성경에서 이제 7장 이야기 읽어 보면. And such a state is shown here in John chapter 7. 예수님 앞에 어느 일본 사람 누굽니까? Who are the people who received grace through Jesus? 38년 된 병자. The man with the infirmity for 38 years. 가늠한 여자. The woman taken in the act of adultery. 
the blind man. 자기 방법이 없고 길이 없고 그런 사람들이 예수 은혜 입었지. The people who had no methods and no ways of their own, they were able to receive the grace of Jesus. 실제 예수님은 그들의 영혼을 구원하 죄에서 건져내서 한 나라 백성을 만들 원하는데. And the Lord truly wanted to save them from sin and make them into people of heaven. 예, 오늘 참만사 교회를 다니고 있지만. However, today, even though so many people go to church. 가난한 여자나 38년 되면 눈먼 속에 이런 사람 당장 예수님으로 말미암아 오늘 이보자 입지 않아도 그냥 살만한 사람들. The woman taken in the act of adultery, the man with the infirmity for 38 years, the blind, they immediately need the grace of Jesus. However, people today are not in that kind of a situation. 그런 그런 사람들은 교회를 다, 나기도 하고. And such people, even though they do go to church, 헌금도 드리기도 하고. And they do give offerings. 착한 일도 하고. And they do do good deeds. 외형적으로 예수를 믿는 그런 모양을 갖춘 사람들이 많습니다. And on the surface, they have the image of people who believe in Jesus. There's Many people like that. 그러나 그들은 예수님 필요 그렇게 필요한 존재는 아니라고 생각하지. However, they are not in that much need of Jesus. 한두 번 내가 죄가 많아, 나 죄삼을 받아야 돼. Occasionally, oh yeah, I do have lots of sins. I need forgiveness of sins. 내가 죽으면 하나라가 못갈것 같아. Oh, when I die, I don't think I could go to heaven. 난 이런 죄가 있었어. I had such and such sins. 그렇게 생각하는 사람들도 많이 있습니다. A lot of people think along those lines also. 그럼 당장 예수를 믿지 않는다고 해서 내가 뭐 밥을 못 먹거나 죽거나 그런 건 아니니까. But even though you don't believe in Jesus right now, it doesn't mean immediately you're going to die or starve. 그냥 이제 형식적으로 예수님 가까이 하고 지난 그런 사람들이 많습니다. And because of that, there's a lot of people who just are close to Jesus out of formality. 이런 사람들은 예수님 예리하게 생각하지 못하고. And these people are not able to think about Jesus in detail. 예수님이 이 세상에 오셔 우리 죄를 위해 오셨다고 다 알지만은. And yes, they know. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus came to this world for my sins. 그냥 내가 죄가 많은가? But do I really have a lot of sins? 어, 나 죄야 좀 이득겠지. Oh yeah, I'm sure I have some sins. 내가 사, 신이 아닌데 어떻게 죄안 지을 수 있어? Yeah, I'm not a god. How could I live without sin? 그러나 난 그리 큰 악은 저지르지 않았어. But I have not done too big of an evil. 그냥 내가 남들 나쁘다는 얘기 안 들었고 그냥 살아. Other people don't call me that bad. I just live my life. 사탄 많은 이러한 가운데 두어서. Satan makes a lot of people remain in that kind of state. 예수님의 친 동생들. And even the brothers of Jesus. Yes, we 형제지만. Even though they are Jesus's brethren. 그들의 마음은 예수님 너무 멀어서 예수님 세계 속에 들어오질 못하고 있다는 거죠. But their hearts were so far from Jesus, they were unable to enter into the world of the heart of Jesus. 이건 뭘 말하는 것입니까? What does this represent? 왜 이런 이야기가 나와야 합니까? Why are there such words in the Bible? 아주 단순한 이야기인데. It's very very simple. 그는 그 나름대로 그. You know, they never did anything that terrible. It's not like they went to prison. And at times they gave service to the Lord. And at times they helped the needy. And also give some money to the poor occasionally. There are a lot of people like that. One time, one time at my church, I preached that there is no good in man. 어느 날 저희들 교회 어떤 자매님 저한테 와서 질문을 했습니다. But then there was a sister in my church, and she came to me and asked me a question. 이분은 가난한 동네에서 약국을 하고 있는 사람. She ran a pharmacy in a poor neighborhood. 근데 이제 그 어떤 사람들 정기적으로 약을 사서 먹고 왔습니다. And some people needed to purchase medication from her regularly. 근데 아저 사람 약이 떨어졌을 것인데 약을 사러 안 오네. And then she would think, oh, that person must be out of medicine by now, but why is he not coming back? And he would call them and tell them to come to the pharmacy. Ah, 약이 있느냐고. Do you have any medicine? 없다고. I'm out. 근데 왜 약사로 오지 않느냐고. Then why didn't you come back to buy more? 아 돈이 없어서 못 간다고. I could not because I don't have any money. 아 당신 이약 중간에 끊으면 내성 생기면 입에 꽃이 어려운데. If you stop medication in the middle, your germs will get immunity and it's not gonna ever heal. 약을 먹어야 돼. 중단을 그러면 큰일 나요. You have to continue your medication. You'll be in big trouble if you stop in the middle. 근데 돈이 없는 데 어떻게 하냐고. But I don't have any money. What am I supposed to do? Then the sister would give them the medication. Later on, if you could pay me back, go ahead. But you need to take the medicine. And when she would give them the medicine, some people would pay her later on. But most people did not pay her back. 
그분에게 약을 무료 줬는데. And she knew that they would be unable to pay her, but still she gave them the medicine for free. 이거 선한 거 아닙니까? So she asked me, isn't that good? 선한 거죠. Yes, that's good. 너도 선한 겁니다. Yeah, that's right, that's good. 근데 하나님 보실 때 그렇진 않는 거예요. But not so in the eyes of God. 제가 그 자매님한테 이야기를 했습니다. And I said to that sister. 한 번은 제가 I told her once I went to Chicago. And I held a conference at a church. And there was a sister at that church who ran an accessory shop. She brought me a handful of gold necklace. But when I get on the planes, I don't want to get caught by the customs, so I don't carry that stuff with me. And so I left it behind and I left. But somebody had put those things back in. Into my bag. I arrived at the Incheon Airport in Korea. And at the customs, they asked, Do you have anything to declare? 없습니다. I said, No. They said, Can we open your bag? And they opened it, and it was there. I was shocked. You know, I was going to be caught smuggling gold. It was going to be in the newspapers. I thought, Who put this in here? But immediately I was going to get caught by the customs. So I explained to the customs officer. You know, in Korea, a lot of people love to wear gold necklaces. And in America, it's not as common. You know, because in Korea, you know, there's a lot of safety. And then so a lot of people wear gold necklaces. But in the United States, there's gold necklaces, but also there's a lot of fake gold necklaces, I said. You know, but they said to me, we can't tell if this is pure gold or not. And I didn't know what to do. And I asked, could I get a knife? They said, sure, we can get you a knife. And they brought a knife. And I told them to go ahead and scrape those necklaces. They said, is it okay for us to do it? We're, we're not going to be responsible. And they started to scrape away at the necklaces. It was gold on the surface. But when they scraped, inside was a different metal. That on the surface is gold. But it was not gold, it was fake gold necklace. And I told this to the pharmacy sister. You know, man's good is just evil covered with something. Pure gold necklace or gold rings, no matter how much you scrape away, it has to be continued to be gold. Then that's real gold. You know, if it's gold on the surface, when you scrape away, it's something else inside. That's not gold. And so is the good done by man. And inside of man, there is evil and dirtiness. And on the surface, we may appear to be good. On the surface, we may appear to be clean. And we may say that we're honest. But actually, inside of us, there is all evil. And that's what people People do not know. And people say, oh yeah, I've lived to be good. I did not commit too big of a sin. I've never murdered. I've never committed adultery or theft. I don't have any big sins. I got little ones here and there. But not enough to send me to hell. A lot of people who think like this are the people here in John chapter 7. Everyone in the Bible says there is no righteous, no not one. And it says that all people are sinners. That's why we must come before the blood of Jesus. And unless we receive the forgiveness of sins by that blood, there is nobody amongst us who can go to heaven. In God's eyes, we're all filthy, dirty, deceitful, evil. 
evil people. 중요한 것은 우리가 그냥 내가 볼때 내가 좀 착하고 그거 가지고 안 되는 거죠. Important thing is that you look pretty good in your own eyes, but that's not going to be enough. 그 여기 칠자에 나오는 사람들을 보면은. So if you look at the people right here in chapter seven, 착한 사람이야. They say, Oh yeah, Jesus is good. 아니야, 우리를 미혹해 해. Oh no, he's deceiving us. 예수 정확히 모르고. They don't know Jesus exactly who he is. 자기도 정말 뭐 가늠한 여자처럼 멸망을 다할 그런 사람이 아니. And they're not standing on the verge of destruction like the woman taken in the act of adultery. But after chapter 7, when we get into chapter 8, there's the story of the woman taken in the act of adultery. This was woman was caught in adultery. She could only be stoned. The people in chapter 7, they didn't commit adultery. Maybe they were good. But they too are all sinners in front of God. We have our own standards. I'm better than that guy. You know, I believe in God. I was not as bad as him. At least I did not live like him. I was not that bad. Such people consider themselves to be good, but it's going to be so hard for them to be saved. 동, 동생들 예수님하고 한편을 같이 자랐습니다. Jesus's brethren, they grew up their whole life together with Jesus. 예수님이 그때 서른 살부터 일을 시작하셨으니까. And Jesus began his work from the age of 30. 그 예수님의 동생들은 뭐 예수 20년 아니면 뭐 15년 같이 지냈습니다. And so Jesus's brethren, they must have at least been with Jesus 15, 20 years. 그들은 정말 예수님을 몰랐습니다. But really, they did not know Jesus. 왜? Why not? Because Jesus came to save them from sin. But they did not truly feel that they were great sinners. People who don't have much blemishes in terms of morals when they go to church. And they are diligent in having service. And when they occasionally help the poor. And they give their offerings. And such people on the surface appear to be really good. However, do you know what Genesis chapter 6 says? And the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great. In the earth, 그 마음의 모든 계획이 항상 악할 뿐임을 보시고, and that the every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. 여러분 우리 기준하고 하나님 기준 그렇게 차이겠는가? Everyone, that's the difference between our standards and God's standards. 우리가 볼때 별거 아닌 것 같은데, it doesn't look like much in our eyes. 하나님 보실 때 우리 다 악한 것입니다. But in God's eyes, we are all evil. 사람의 생각, 마음의 모든 계획이 항상 악할 뿐이다. That every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. 그리고 이 성경이 말하는 하나님 기준으로 보면, therefore, when we look at the standard of God that's in the Bible, 하나님 볼때 의롭다 할 만한 인간 아무도 없습니다. Through it, there is no man who is worthy of righteousness before God. 그래서 예수님이 오신 것이. That's why Jesus came. 그래서 우리는 예수님의 의를 힘입어야 하는 것이. That's why we must be strengthened by the righteousness of Jesus. 얼마나 많은 사람들이 so many people today. 자기는 뭐 도둑질도 안 하고 간음도 안 했어. They say I've never committed theft. I've never committed adultery. 자기가 뭐좀뭐 자잘한 죄는 있었는지 몰라 그리 큰 죄를 짓지 않았기 때문에. I've got little sins here and there, but I've never seen, never done anything that bad. 나는 바르게 살아 그러니까 하나님 나를 아실 텐데. You know I live uprightly, so I'm sure God knows me. 나를 지옥에 보내지 않을 거야. So God would not send me to hell. 그래서 정말 이런 사람들이 많다는 겁니다. And truly there are so many people like that. 그래서 성경로 저 that's why in John chapter 7 these were not people who did something terribly evil these were not people who committed murder or adultery and these were people who were near Jesus they lived in the same home but these people did not believe Jesus here the Bible tells us and Jesus is speaking to his own brethren for neither did his brethren believe in him. To believe in Jesus. Because I am filthy and dirty and my righteousness will not do. Therefore, taking the righteousness of Jesus as your own. That's what it means to believe. There are so many people on this earth. 
예수님 외에 스스로 하늘나라 갈 만사 아무도 없습니다. There is nobody who without Jesus can go to heaven on their own. 그다음 세상에 다 악한 게 착하게 보이는 사람도 있고. Yes, there are some people in the world who appear to be good. 정직한 사람도 진실한 사람도 있는 것 같이 보입니다. And it looks like there are honest, truthful people. 그러나 사, 하나님이 보실 때는. However, in God's eyes. 사람의 모든 계획이. That every imagination. 항상 악할 뿐이라. Of the thoughts of man was only evil continually. Some is good, some is evil. Sometimes they're evil, sometimes they're good. That's not what God said. Every thought was only evil continually. That's what man is. Therefore, man on his own cannot go to heaven. Therefore, we must throw away our own righteousness. We must throw away our own good. Our good is not perfect good. Our righteousness is not the perfect righteousness. The perfect holiness and righteousness is only of Jesus. So it's throwing everything of our away and accepting the things of Jesus Christ into our hearts. People think of themselves to be pretty good. They say, at least I'm not going to go to hell. There was a person that I met and he was a pastor. And he said that he had to serve in prison for 14 years for believing in Jesus. And he and I were talking. 그분은 자기가 예수님 때문에 감옥에 14년 있었기 때문에. And he told me that because he had served in prison for 14 years for Jesus. 인간적으로는 존경할 만한 분인데. You know, humanistically, he was very respect worthy. 이분은 자기가 할 나라 간다고 굳게 믿고 있었어요. And he so sternly believed that he could go to heaven. 저 어떻게 할 나라 가실 수 있습니까? I asked him, how is it that you're able to go to heaven? 목사님 내가 못 갑니까? 왜못 갑니까? He says, Pastor, you don't think I could go? Why not? 내가 14년 동안 예수님 이름으로 I was in prison in the name of Jesus for 14 years. But everyone, that's not going to that's not going to get you to heaven. But I told them you cannot go to heaven through your works. He asked me, Pastor, have you ever been to prison? You think I was the only one who suffered in my 14 years in prison? My wife and kids ate the fruit peelings off the street. They lived pitifully. He went through terrible persecution. And you think I cannot go to heaven after all that? But I said to him, No one can go to heaven through their works. You cannot go to heaven because those good works of yours. We all have sin. You too have sin. And if you cannot have your sins washed away through Jesus, no one can go to heaven. The only one who is worthy of heaven is Jesus alone. We must receive His righteousness. We gave service to others. We tithed. We kept the commandments. And we appeared to be good. But with those works, we cannot go to heaven. What does Ephesians chapter 2 tell us? Ephesians chapter 2 tells us you are saved by grace through faith in Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. We cannot receive the forgiveness of sins through us doing something. Keeping the commandments and doing the good deeds and helping the needy. Those things appear to be good. But with that good, we cannot get into heaven. Why not? Because man does have good parts, but they also have evil. Therefore, we throw everything of ours away. And you must accept the righteousness of Jesus 
into your heart. And to believe in Jesus, it is to say, oh, there is no good in me. I have nothing but evil. I have nothing but deceit. There is nothing but filth. Therefore, I throw away my righteousness. But I accept the righteousness of Jesus as my righteousness. And therefore, when Jesus was in this world, the woman taken in adultery, the thief at the cross, the publican, all such people came to Jesus and received the forgiveness of sin. But people who thought of themselves to be good and righteous, they were unable to receive this precious grace through Jesus. No matter how good you are, with your good, you cannot go to heaven. There is no human that has the perfect good. That is why all of us need Jesus. In 1962, after I failed to make it into the vocational military, at that time, I saw myself in front of God. How filthy I was, how deceitful and evil, and I steal, and I lie. And I surely knew that I'm a person who could only go to heaven. And before I go to heaven, when you know that you're a person who is worthy of hell because of sin, you can throw all of your ways away. And you become able to accept the righteousness, the holiness of Jesus. And throwing everything of yours away, and the holiness of Jesus, the righteousness of Jesus. And when I accepted that into my heart, that even though we're dirty, by strengthened by the righteousness of Jesus, and strengthened by the holiness of Jesus, we become able to enter heaven. So when Jesus lived on this earth, He gave all of His holy life unto us, and all of our filthy and dirty sins, Jesus took them away. He exchanged with my righteousness, I could only be destroyed. But through the righteousness of Jesus, I can go to heaven. And through the holiness of Jesus, I'm able to stand. Hebrews tells us, Therefore, brethren, having boldness, having boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Because the blood that Jesus shed has forgiven our sins. Right then, that's when all my sins were washed as white as snow. Even though I'm not good, even though I'm dirty and filthy, and even though I'm evil, the good of Jesus Jesus becomes mine, and the holiness of Jesus becomes mine, and makes me able to enter heaven. That's why, everyone, we have the righteousness of Jesus. He has given His holiness all to us, and He took, in the, place, he took the place of our sins. Strengthened by the righteousness of Jesus, by the holiness of Jesus, we are able to stand before God. All of us may receive the strength of Jesus, no matter who you are. Through it, you are able to stand before God. Thank you.